Let's take a look at element states. This is where the power and flexibility of oxygen really shines far beyond the competition. So right now I have three link blocks, link wrappers. It's each one of these a rectangular link. And we want to set up a custom hover state. In other words, we want to make some cool effect happen when the user hovers over. So let's click the element, go to the state dropdown, and we'll choose the hover state. And if you're a CSS wizard, we've also got before, after, any custom state, nth child, any pseudo class, you can do it all. So if you're advanced, you're going to love this. But let's keep it simple for now. Go to the hover state and let's set up a custom effect on hover. Let's go to advanced effects and oxygen has all sorts of great effects to really make your designs pop, to make things visually stunning. I'm going to go to transform and let's add a transform. So we'll say on hover, we're going to scale up, let's say, make it a little bit bigger and let's add uh, the 3D effect. So let's add some perspective. We'll give it 1,000 pixels of perspective, and then we will rotate it along the y-axis and take a look at that. Okay, let's say that's what we're going to We're going to rotate it negative 23 degrees on hover. Let's click outside the element. Now you mouse over, and it rotates. But that's so choppy, so let's set up a transition. So we'll go back to advanced effects, transition, and we're just going to add a transition duration of say 0.5 seconds and there we go. Smooth hover effect. Beautiful.